क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in today's session we are going to study about the hardness of water we already know that there are two kinds of water that is hard water and soft water and soft water is always more desirable and has more utility than hard water but how do we actually come to know which water is hard water how do we identify that a kind of water is hard or soft that we are going to study in today's session hardness of water hardness in water is that characteristics which prevents the lathering of soap this is one of the most important characteristic of water if you have an entire tank of water and you have to predict whether that water is hard water or soft water you just take a sample of that water outside and you mix it with soap and you see what is the result because soft water will always give lather to the soap whereas hard water will produce a scum that is a curd like substance and it will not give lathering to the soap This is one of the most important characteristics which distinguishes or classifies hard water from soft water. This is done by a very simple experiment of reaction of that water with the soap and the product that we get is either lather if it is lather then it is soft water but if it's not lather and it forms a scum or a curd like substance then it is hard water. Hardness was originally defined as the soap consuming capacity of a water sample. Soap consuming capacity. Why do we use the term soap consuming capacity? Because hard water consumes the soap and makes the scum out of it, rather than enhancing the properties of a soap and producing lather out of it. And that's the reason why hard water was originally defined as the soap consuming capacity of water. Soaps generally consist of sodium salts of long chain fatty acids such as oleic acid, palmitic acid and stearic acid. The soap consuming capacity of water is reduced due to the presence of certain salts of calcium, magnesium and other heavy metals dissolved in it. We will actually see this reaction and we'll see how it actually works. When the ions of these salts react with the sodium salt of long chain fatty acid present in soap, lather is not produced but it forms insoluble white scum or precipitates of calcium and magnesium. some soaps which do not possess any detergent value let us see the examples of it now what we are seeing in the examples of the reactions is we are seeing hard water plus soap so i are i have twice of soap what is soap c17h35c double bond o o n a this is the chemical formula of my soap which reacts with cacl2 which is present in water cacl2 present in water makes the water hard water that means the water is hard water now why because calcium is dissolved in it cacl2 is dissolved in it this is the dissolved form of water this reaction is not between soap and water but its reaction between soap and hard water and the hardness is due to cacl2 now when this happens this c17h35c double bond o o this part of it which is twice gets reacted with this ca that is calcium forming a precipitate now over here we will have to see that it's a precipitate and this precipitate is not lather it's an insoluble precipitate which is a scum or a curd like substance it is known as calcium stearate that is calcium insoluble so plus twice of nacl let us look at the balancing of this reaction over here i have c17h35c double bond o o which is twice and this entire thing is there on the product side c17h35c double bond o o and over here it is twice as well so this entire part of my soap is balanced over here now let us see how many calcium we have on this side one calcium on the reactant side and one calcium on the product side now we are still left with na from the reactant side it is twice of na2 na so over here we'll have 2 na and plus cl2 so instead of cl2 we'll have 2 cl forming 2 nacl so sodium stearate when reacts with cacl2 forms calcium stearate plus twice nacl and this is a balanced reaction now the same reaction we have shown over here but in a form of ions we are actually trying to say that na and cl is not playing a major role because nacl is nothing but my sodium chloride it's a very dissolvable salt in water what are the main ions what are the main factors which lead to this reaction are these we have twice c17 h3 5 c double bond o o which is has a minus sign but this minus sign is into 2 because the entire reactant is twice plus ca2 plus so over here i have two positive ions i have a negative ion which is twice and that's the reason why this will get 
substituted over here this will get attached itself over here and it will form c 17 h 35 c double bond o o twice c a and this is nothing but my precipitate also known as curd or scum let us see the next reaction over here also we are having soap what is the chemical formula of it c 17 h 35 c double bond o o n a plus mg so4 now this is hard water hard water is because of the hardness of mg so4 in the previous reaction it was because of the cacl2 but now we are using mg so4 so now the soap will react with the mg so4 so let us see the entire reaction first and then we'll see the ion form of the reaction so we have soap plus mg so4 forming magnesium stearate plus Na2SO4. Let us see the balancing of this entire reaction and see how it is happening. Over here I have C17H35C double bond O which is twice. So this twice is over here C17H35C double bond O twice. So this which is on the reactant side is same as it is on the product side but over here I have two over here also I have two. This gets reacted with Mg. Can you see there is Mg over here and it forms a precipitate. This precipitate is also insoluble soap known as magnesium stearate. It is a curd or a precipitate form of it and not lather of it. Now what is remaining on my reactant side is twice Na and SO4. The twice Na comes from the reactant twice of Na plus over here I have SO4 so this forms Na2SO4. Now let us see only the ion form of the reaction because of course Na2SO4 is just a byproduct. The main ions which take part in the reaction are the ions of the soap obviously C17 H35 C double bond O O and minus over here and it is twice because over here we using it twice plus mg2 plus now why have i used mg2 plus because the valency of mg is 2 plus and so so4 is also 2 minus so via mg2 plus so4 2 minus the 2 plus and 2 minus used to cancel itself and mg so4 used to be a neutral very neutral in the same way over here i have mg2 plus this 2 plus will go and combine itself with c17h35c double bond o so this on the reactant side comes here on the product side forming c17h35c double bond o o twice why do i have twice over here because it is taken twice on the reactant side and then i have mg2 plus which combines with it and forms a precipitate or curd other metals like fe2 plus mn2 plus and al3 plus also react with soap in the same fashion thus contributing to hardness further acids such as carbonic acid can also cause free fatty acid to separate from soap solution and thus contribute to hardness so it is not necessary that we'll have only calcium or magnesium salts we can have iron salts manganese salts aluminium salts and apart from all of these we can also have carbonic acids which are present in water water is not distinguished as hard water only because of carbonates or bicarbonates of calcium magnesium aluminium or iron it can be also distinguished as hard water because of some dissolved gases present in it even dissolved co2 present in water can lead to hardness of water so it is very important for us to know that it is not only certain salts but many other factors which lead to hardness of water however in practice the hardness of water sample is usually taken as a measure of ca2 plus or mg2 plus content because calcium and magnesium are two most important factors are two most important elements and most commonly found elements in hard water and that is the reason why whenever we perform experiments the first thing we look for is either calcium salts or magnesium salts because those two are major reasons for it but apart from that also we can have certain other elements contributing to the hardness of water so why are we studied about the hardness of water how to distinguish hard water from soft water the reactions which happen between the soap and the hard water and all the other minerals metals gases and factors which lead to hardness of water thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned to ikida and subscribe to ikida